So today we're going to talk about two um, two uh, subjects that are uh, probably our most precious subjects for uh, for brokers. Uh, the first one is uh, time management, and uh, the second one is cash management. Uh, very precious uh, for us to survive and for us to conduct our business in an effective and uh, profitable way. Um, I will start with time management. It seems to be a, a growing uh, issue for most of us as uh, we're entering a busier time of the year. Uh, regardless of COVID, uh, I think we're all quite busy. So it's important to uh, retool and reshape our schedule. Um, I'll start by showing you quickly um, a typical day that we suggest all of us use. And hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see this screen properly. Perfect. So regular days, um, and these are basically Monday to Friday. Um, this is a typical day of, you know, the most productive brokers that uh, we've met. Uh, eight to nine, they do role play, affirmation, and they prepare their days. So that can be uh, setting up their expired list, their center inf influence calls, uh, regardless what you decide to do. This is where you would uh, prepare your day. So eight to nine, usually role play should not last more than 20 to half an hour. Um, and then the rest would be uh, uh, the preparation of the rest of the day. 9 to 10.30, uh, ideally everybody's prospecting, would it be calling expired list uh, for sale by owners, doing your just listed, just sold calls, and most importantly, calling your center of influence. Uh, I particularly like the center of influence because we know that we can go out and get uh, quite a bit of business, 10% of business from this group right here. And at the end of the day, they are the easiest calls and the most fun to do. 10.30 to 10.45, it's break time, you know, coffee, bathroom, whatever uh, you need. And then we go back to prospecting from 10.45 to 12. Same thing again, expired for sale by owners, just as just sold and COI. Please uh, don't be shy if you have questions. I have the chat on the other side of the screen, so you can ask whatever you want. Um, 1 to 2 p.m., this would be basically our pre-qualifying time. Uh, we would go back and pre-qualify all the contacts that we had done in the morning. So, for example, if you've booked an expired uh, to go and present or via Zoom or live, you would call them back and maybe say something like, uh, you know, I started talking about your property for sale, sir, and a couple of my colleagues uh, might have buyers for it. I just had a couple of other questions to ask you. That way you're pre-qualifying them in a softer manner. Um, again, each their own, you can pre-qualify as, as you see fit. Uh, 2 to 4 p.m., this would be this, the period of time where you would prepare your VIP packages, you would answer your emails, you would return your calls, and you will confirm any appointments you have for that same evening. Um, confirming appointments is very important. That way you're not losing your time later on in the day. And again, the answer to email, this one is critical. Don't spend your day answering emails. Just do it at one point in the day. Obviously, if there's urgencies, that's different. But I don't think there's any urgent emails that need a, an answer right away. It can wait a couple of hours. 4 to 5 p.m., that would be another break uh, or to get a snack or just to, you know, relax and also gives you some time to go to your first appointment. Uh, 5 to 7 would be basically to meet your customers and to do any visits if you, if you have some. Now, this is a typical day. Um, and for me, this is the type of schedule that I would be able to do for a maximum of four to five days a week. Um, and on the weekend, obviously, you do have visits and you can meet customers, but ideally, you make sure that you keep one day, full day off. And if you're able to take a half day somewhere else in the week, well, you take it. Now, in order to make sure that your visits are always scheduled between five and seven, 
um, I highly suggest that when you do take a listing, um, you put it on matrix that visits are twice a week. It could be twice, it could be three times a week. Ideally, you have them in the evening, twice during the work week. So twice during Monday to Friday, you have a, a time for visits between five and seven, and you have one potential visit or on Saturday or on Sunday in the afternoon. Uh, this is probably the easiest way to manage your time. And I hate to say it, but with, uh, with COVID, it, it, the COVID situation has helped us to reinforce that mindset amongst customers, uh, whether it be a seller or a buyer. People are used to having times where they can visit uh, for obvious reasons. So this has helped us enormously uh, to reinforce that type of schedule. Um, obviously, if you have people that work for you in a team structure, uh, then you know that's that can be a different setup. But if you're on your own and you're following a schedule like this, make sure that you have your visits pre-scheduled on Matrix. And as well, uh, you make sure that your sellers are aware of it and the reason why uh, you're doing it this way. It also creates a little bit of a, you know, I have to go visit, I have to make the offer. Mm -hmm.